All right, hey everybody. Uh, welcome back to our next video. I'm gonna make some fried rice based on our uh, recent conversation that Amber started and it kind of went, we'll call it pseudo viral because we uh, I don't think anything we do is viral quite yet, but we'll get there one day. So I, uh, I do a very, very simple one, two, three, four, five ingredients. If you include the, the oil, I'm gonna use a little bit of butter just because Everybody says more butter, more butter. Um, but very simple, no garlic, no seasoning, just uh, scallions, egg, rice, and then a little bit of soy sauce at the end. Um, <clears throat> so realistically, uh, I'm gonna use this really inexpensive Crofton, uh, I don't even know what material it is, but it's nonstick, uh, indoor electric burners in my glorious setup here in the apartment, um, but you do need, if you're going to do it right, you do need as high heat as possible. Um, so I, I just turn on high and I leave it on high pretty much the whole time I'm cooking. Um, <clears throat> so once once I know that this thing is, <laughs> you can actually see a little bit of smoke coming up from when we cleaned it, the burner, or uh, around the burner, must have got a little bit of a cleaning agent on there so we can get a little bit of premature smoke. But uh uh, one of the key essences to getting good fried rice is to get that cooking surface and that heat extra high. Um, you do want a non-stick as best you can. So like your carbon steels work really well as long as they're really seasoned. Um, cast iron can work really well, again, as long as it's really well seasoned. Um, a non-stick works pretty well too, but carbon steel would be my favorite. I, again, I doubt this is carbon steel. I think I got it at Aldi for like $7 and I said, well, I don't have a wok and I'll experiment. So that's what I'm working with now. So, um, turn it on high. If you have a gas high as well, um, some people have like outdoor gas burners, um, for like outdoor real, real super high heat cooking. Those are fantastic. That's the best. You're going to get that wok hay, uh, smoky essence flavor into the rice like you do at good restaurants. Um, those you're probably going to get super high heat, but then you're going to like turn it off and use residual heat. Indoor, they're not going to get nearly as hot as that. So you're going to really want to need, you're going to need to leave it on high the whole way. I don't know if you can see, it's actually starting to smoke now, which is where I want it to be. So I'm going to put about a tablespoon or so. Um, of oil in. I'm using avocado oil um, just to try to get a little bit more of a high heat capability. And once that is good and ready, you can see it immediately gets pretty uh, loose. So I'm going to put my eggs. I got two eggs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them get set, uh, swirl them around a little bit. And once the I can tell that the bottom is set, I'm gonna give it a uh, kind of like a little flip. And I see it. I got a little bit of brown in there. That's that's ideal. That's what I want. So I'm gonna use this guy to kind of push it. I don't want it to overcook. So it, now it's a little bit loose. That's fine. I'm going to push it up to the side a little bit. Actually, I'm going to bring it to this side because my burner is a little bit uh, off kilter. I'm going to do a little bit more oil. I'm actually going to throw some butter in now. And this rice I made uh, this morning in a rice cooker. Um, and then I let it, I put it on a, like a cookie tray and let it get really um, dry out, steam dry, and then put it in the refrigerator for a little bit. So it would uh, get like individual kernels. That's really the key is the individual kerners, kernels. So, all right, I'm gonna throw this in now. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the egg and put it right on top. That's, I probably waited talking to you too long, but now I'm gonna break up the egg. So disregard that. And I like putting the egg on top better because uh, it, it doesn't, it helps me integrate the egg with the rice. And then while I break it up, uh, it, I just feel like it gets a little bit better that way. And you can see how quickly this can come together. 
I can also use this to like kind of break up all the rice chunks too, because you want you know, a good fried rice. All the individual, all the rice kernels are all, all relatively individual. You don't want them all clumped together in big masses. And the key to letting your rice, after it's cooked, steam out, you want all that moisture out of it, or as much as you can, so that it is able to be like this and doesn't get mushy while you cook it. So leaving it overnight isn't really truly necessary, but just putting it flat so all that steam can rise out of it and not mush it together is key. Oop. And then you, if you can see the rice starting to jump, that's telling you that's got most of the moisture out of it, so it's pretty much ready to go, ready to eat. So I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna kind of put it to the middle. I'm gonna give it just a little more oil. And this is where I put the soy sauce. And you want the soy sauce on the edge so it can like do that and get a little bit of reduction. You don't wanna put it right on the rice because it'll actually not reduce and you won't get that like real concentrated flavor. And this is where you can add as much or as little as you really want. I'm gonna turn my gas, or my heat gas. I pretend like I've got gas burners here. I'm gonna let that residual heat cook it down. I'm gonna add my scallions now. I probably could have used more, I didn't have very much. I'm just gonna let those get warm and let their oils and flavor absorb into the rice a little bit. You guys can see how long the video has been playing. So this was actually like, apart from making the rice and beating the egg at a time, super quick. But again, the key is just really high heat, a good non-stick surface. And again, you know, everyone's gonna want their own uh, elements, chicken, shrimp, other veggies, bean sprouts. I mean, you can put whatever you want in it. This is just a very basic. The softer the ingredient, the later in the recipe I'd recommend putting it because you don't want it to be overcooked. Let's get it. And there we go. Nice uh, homemade, quick, probably under, I don't know what, three minutes, maybe four. Hope you guys enjoy.